I invented well, gonna, YouTube and the internet. Well, we're going to make sure we get you on YouTube again. Hey guys, it's Brittany from GoPro Wrestling. I'm here with the awesome Evan Bourne. Uh, we're here in a great convention here. How are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. Awesome, awesome. So you've been part of both WWE and kind of indie scene. What are your thoughts on kind of the indie scene really kind of growing and kind of taking over? Well, to me, it's all wrestling. That's the most important thing everywhere I go, no matter if it's in WWE, Impact, New Japan, Ring of Honor, Dragon Gate. It's just all about the wrestlers. For me, it's always about the guys in the back, not the promotions. A lot of people get caught up in the brand names of the promotions, and they think almost like a sports team, like it's one continuous thing. But the reality is just like the way your sports team changes, the guys in the back change too. So it may be under the same banner, but it's, it's a different thing. So I can only speak from the experience when I've been in these places, but I've just spent my life surrounded by the world's best wrestlers. So I'm really fortunate with that. So uh, for, for me, it's always been a growing thing. I've been with like AJ, Brian, Samoa, Joe, Nigel McGinnis uh, since early on in my career, Chris Heroes. I mean, these guys have been, uh, I, I've surrounded myself and insisted that I consume a diet of all good wrestling. So it doesn't really matter to me where it comes from as long as it's good. Absolutely, you got to surround yourself with great people. Now, you just mentioned some pretty phenomenal names there. Who do you feel, you know, was a great influence for you kind of coming up through your wrestling journey? Wow, well, I mean, there's just, it's so interesting because you can be influenced by guys, but there's a big difference between, like, watching somebody and, like, thinking about moving like they do, and then there's another thing where you get in the ring and a guy kicks your ass and you <laughs> get the lessons directly. Uh, the thing First about wrestling is, is you can read about it, you can learn about it, you can read books, you could do all this research, but the truth is there's no reality truer than the experience in the ring, the physicality, the actuality, the things that words can't provide. And so getting in there, like one of the earliest guys that changed my career was Kid Cash, and then followed up by Jamie Noble. These are just two wrestlers who went out there and sh sort of physically showed me the ropes, and you felt it. And uh, you know the lessons you learn in one 15-minute match might be more than you learn in five years of training, which is the, it, what happened for me and Jamie Noble in my case. And you're going to just carry that on throughout your career. Right, sure. carry it on and give it back as well. Absolutely. Now, what are some awesome things the fans can kind of keep an eye out for that you're going to be involved with coming up soon? Oh, my God, I have so much brewing in the kitchen. I got irons over here and irons over there. What I've set out to do is become my own promoter to get what I want, the points that I want to get across in the way that I see fit. I'm looking to open people's hearts. I'm looking to open their minds and open their third eyes. Come see what I'm saying. I'm Matt Seidel. Stay tuned, guys.